part of experiment uh, one, we have measuring a boiling point. We are going to measure the boiling point of ethanol, and then uh, we are going to measure the boiling point of an unknown solution. To measure the boiling point, we set up the hot water bath setup. As I said, we are uh, using the ring stand, iron ring, and a wire gauze on it. We will um, use a thermometer clamp to hold the thermometer. And the sample is going to go into this small test tube or steel tube. It's five millimeter tube with a capillary tube with open end down. So we have the capillary tube with the open end in there. Um, and we are going to um, add our sample into the capillary tube using this one uh, with the ethanol. Just put the few drops of ethanol into the seal tube and place it in the hot water bath, uh, in, the, in a water bath um, to heat up slowly. When the temperature of the water reaches the temperature of boiling point for this sample, the sample is going to start boiling. And how we see the boiling, we are going to see that bubbles are going to come out of this cap end of the capillary tube, open end of capillary tube is inside the liquid, you will see the bubbles coming out. When the bubbles come out very fast, that means the temperature is higher. So I would stop the flame and I will wait for those bubbles to stop coming out. And just before the liquid goes up in the capillary tube again, I record the temperature. So I'm going to secure that to the uh, clamp that is just for the thermometer clamp. So each clamp, it's different. So we do use different clamps, but we want to make sure that we are using the, the thermometer clamp. I'm going to turn on the, the Bunsen burner. Since ethanol is uh, flammable, I have to move it away. And then I will turn on the, the Bunsen burner. Adjust the flame, making sure that it's not yellow color and it doesn't make sound. I place it under the, uh, the beaker. And uh, when the, the temperature equals the boiling point of the solution, I will look for those bubbles. And I should be able to record the, um, the temperature. So I, I like to make the adjustment to the height to make sure that I can see this, the, the ink that is going up or basically is the colored um, alcohol that is going up in the, in the thermometer. So I wait for those uh, bubbles. And as soon as I see the bubbles, I will bring the camera closer for you to see it as well. Okay, inside the capillary tube now, the bubbles are going very fast. So right here, these bubbles are going fast. And at this point, I am going to remove the um, turn off and remove the uh, Bunsen burner or turn off the Bunsen burner and wait until they stop coming out. So you see those bubbles are still coming out relatively fast. I wait until the stops coming out and I will read the, the temperature. For the unknown sample, I take a new seal tube or glass tube. I secure it using a rubber band into uh, to the end of thermometer. I wanna make it sure that is the same level as the bulb of thermometer. I take a capillary tube with a, um, I can touch the closed end, but I leave it inside the seal tube with the open end down. I bring my unknown B, using unknown B, I would add few drops using a dropper into the, the seal tube for the, um, just five drops should be good enough to start this boiling point. I will adjust. 
the height of the thermometer inside the water bath to make sure that the liquid is immersed in the water. So I want to make sure that the temperature of the water bath is lower than the temperature of the, of the boiling point for the sample. Otherwise, it will start right away. It will start boiling right away, regardless. So I'm going to turn on the Bunsen burner. Place the Bunsen burner underneath and wait until I see the bubbles again. And this is for the unknown. If it has boiling point similar to ethanol, it would boil at the same temperature. If it's different, it's going to be different. I did not check what the formation of those like fast bubbles, it actually takes some time, but I paused the video in between. You don't have to watch long videos. So fast bubbling, I'm going to have to stop the, the heat until the bubbles stop. And then, yes, they slow down so I can record the temperature again. Save it as the boiling point for, uh, for the unknown sample.